February 21st, 1340, the King of England assumed the title of the King of France, quartering his arms with the motto, Du et Mondroid. 1513, Giuliano della Rovera, Pope Julius II, died. He was originally a fisherman. He built St. Peter's at Rome, to procure means for which he ordered the sale of indulgences, which was one of the immediate causes of the Reformation, so that it may be said without paradox, that St. Peter's is the great monument of Protestantism. He is considered one of the most immoral of the popes, though a generous patron of the polite arts. 1595. Robert Southwell, called sometimes the English Jesuit, died. He was esteemed no inferior poet in his day. 1633. Order of the Privy Council to stay several ships in the Thames, ready to sail for New England with passengers and provisions. The jealousy of the government was early directed towards the infant colony of Massachusetts. It was observed by one of the kings that the wheat of the population was sifting across the Atlantic. These orders were ineffectual, for great numbers continued to emigrate, and scarce a vessel arrived in the colony that was not crowded with passengers. 1660. The secluded members of the Long Parliament again took their seats and voted Monk to be General of the English, Scotch and Irish forces. 1668. John Thurlow, Secretary of State to the two Cromwells, died. He was a man of very amiable character, and exercised all possible moderation towards persons of every party. 1676. Two or three hundred Indians principally Narragansetts, surprised the town of Medfield, Massachusetts, killed eighteen men, women and children, and burned half of the town. 1682. The following appears in the minutes of the governor and council of Virginia John Buckner called before the L.D. Culpeper and his council for printing. The laws of 1680, without His Excellency's license, and he and the printer ordered to enter into bond in one hundred pounds not to print anything hereafter until His Majesty's pleasure shall be known. 1684. Charles Spun, an ingenious and learned French physician, died at Lyons. He wrote Latin verse with ease and elegance, and corresponded with most of the learned men of Europe. 1717. Peter Alex, a French Protestant of eminent piety and learning, died. He resided in England, where he was greatly esteemed and honored. 1730. Benedict XIII, Pope of Rome, died. He was a Dominican of Venice, and before his elevation Bishop of Benevento, where his palace was destroyed by an earthquake, and he narrowly escaped. He filled the pontifical office six years, and sustained an excellent character. 1746. Lay Bourbon and La Charite, French ships, captured by calm. Knolls in a heavy gale. The military chest belonging to the French vessels contained 5,000 pounds. 1759. Action between the British frigate Vestal, Captain Hood, and the French frigate Bellona, which resulted in the capture of the latter, with the loss of 42 killed, British lost 2 killed and 22 wounded. 1760. The neighborhood of Empty Vesuvius overflowed by burning lava. 1760. Commodore Thou Rot arrived in the Bay of Caracfergus with a 43-gun ship and two sloops of war, and having landed 800 men, attacked the town, which, with the castle, he carried after a smart action. The French embarked a few days after, and meeting with a British squadron, an action ensued in which Thou Rot and 300 of his men were killed. 1792. 
Jacob Schnabeli died at London. From the profession of a Swiss confectioner, he rose to be one of the best draftsmen in England, but to intense application, to his studies hastened his death. 1796. Field Marshal Clairefate, the Austrian general, resigned, and was succeeded by the Archduke Charles, for whom a new rank was created, that of Field Marshal General being the highest military rank in the empire. 1799. Gilbert Wakefield was fined 100 pounds and condemned to two years confinement, for his pamphlet against the Bishop of Landaf. 1805. Dominica attacked by a French squadron, which was repulsed by the British under Jean Provost. 1810. Action between the British ship Horatio, and French frigate Necessity, 21 guns, which last was captured in one hour. 1812. Action between the British ship Victorious, Captain Talbot, and the Venetian ship Rivoli, 74 guns. The latter was captured, after an engagement of five hours, with the loss of 400 killed and wounded. British lost 42k. 99w. 1813. Ogdensburg, New York, taken by the British. 1814. The British, about 2,000 in number, under Call. Scott, crossed over to the French mills, burned the arsenal at Malone, New York, pillaged the town and carried off some provisions. The enemy retreated in great haste, and lost 200 men by desertion. Jen Wilkinson endeavored to come up with him, but was prevented by the weather. 1818. David Humphreys, an officer of the Revolution, died. He was a native of Connecticut, and successively aide to Generals Putnam, Green and Washington. He is also known as a poet of very fair pretensions. 1824. Eugene de Beauharais, Duke of Leutenberg, died. He was the son of Josephine Tecker de la Pagerie, afterwards wife of Napoleon. He distinguished himself in the army, and was made Viceroy of Italy, the government of which he managed with great prudence. With the fall of Napoleon he lost his titles and offices, but was in a measure indemnified by the Articles of Fontaine below, the Congress of Vienna, and the Duke of Bavaria. Under a simple exterior Prince Eugene concealed a noble character and great talents. 1831. Robert Hall died at Bristol, England. A very eminent man and a celebrated preacher. 1838. Anthony Isaac Sylvester de Sacy died aged 80, renowned principally for his extensive critical knowledge, particularly in Oriental languages and literature, esteemed, in this department of learning, the first scholar of his age. 1839. Charles Rossi, a celebrated sculptor, died at London, aged 77. 1840. William Friend, died in London, aged 84 a writer on algebra, taxation and various other subjects. 1845. Sidney Smith, canon of St. Paul's in London, and well known to Pennsylvania repudiators, died in London. 1855. Charles Roger Dodd, assistant editor of the Times newspaper, died aged 62. 1856. The students of South Carolina College, armed with rifles, surrendered to the governor of the state and a posse of armed citizens. Mm -hmm.